Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another Total War Troy preview video where we will be covering Hector, the Prince of Troy. So we're finally moving on to the key Trojan characters, uh, Hector, Paris, and Neas today, starting with Hector, the Prince of Troy. So our starting situation in the game is deemed normal. Our victory conditions, homework victory, we have 12 steps in our epic mission, and we just need to control, destroy, or confederate the following locations, Messenia, the capital of Agamemnon, Sparta, capital of Menelaus, Ithaca, the capital of Odysseus, and Thea, the capital of Achilles. So basically we have to destroy or confederate the four capital cities or settlements of the four Greek factions. So pretty straightforward. The total war victory is similar to most factions. We get to destroy our first antagonist faction, occupy, raise, or sack a hundred different settlements, and gain control of these three settlements either through direct ownership, vassals, or military allies, Kronos, Messina, and Troy. So we want our own capital, and that plays into kind of our own faction mechanic, because we don't actually own Troy. Our father does. Our king, Priam, is still alive. And what we're going to do on our legendary and veteran difficulty here is talk about the faction specialization. So first we have Priam's heir. Fulfill task for your father, Priam, king of Troy, to gain his benevolence. Gain maximum benevolence before your brother to confederate him and the city of Troy. Do not let Troy fall to her enemies. So this is pretty straightforward brother competition between Hector and Paris, even though there are tons of sons for Priam. I think I mentioned this for my Total War Elysium, Elysium a video um, earlier uh, last week where we talked about Priam is coming as a character uh, for that card game. And Priam has 68 sons, I believe, roughly, according to the legend, and 18 daughters. Uh, but the main sons obviously here is Hector and Paris, and we're going to compete to become his heir. And all we have to do is basically satisfy certain missions and these missions will be just a list of conditions that's changing and once we knock those out we get points benevolence and at maximum benevolence we end up confederating both king priam in terms of capital of troy as well as our brother paris uh, this is actually quite interesting uh, i haven't obviously played till that point but i know some people have been attempting a hector or paris let's play and they have gotten to the point where they confederated their brother and the city of Troy and all of a sudden the upkeep just completely decimates the campaign because you get all their armies and all their land and suddenly your economy is in shambles. Um, kind of curious how to deal with that, but that's something to note. Uh, we also have the Asuwan League. So the more land your allies control, the more positive effects your armies will receive. Armies will move quicker on the campaign map, have more morale, less upkeep, and recruit cheaper units. So these are the benefits if we have our allies control more land. Helping your allies might cause them to thank you with a gift. So this is a very interesting mechanic. It seems like we are playing this protector role, and uh, that's totally fine. Uh, it's just a different playstyle focus here. And in terms of how our army is set up, Hector's roster is focused on tough, heavy, and expensive well-armed units which can be used in crushing frontal attacks. But because we are kind of the antithesis of our brother Paris, we are the heavy frontal unit. We are a defender unit, I'm pretty sure. And um, our special units are Hector's Chosen, medium class, immune to flanking, completely immune, but not against range flanks. Uh, excellent attack, shielded. We have Encourage, boost morale, nice. Flanking attack improve as well as immune to flanking, quite useful. Um, Champions of Troy, so these are the heavy, excellent defense. Two-handed spear or spear and shield switches, also carries two javelins. Two-handed melee, immune to fear and terror, and hide in forest, shoots while moving, and also has Encourage, so a lot of morale boost, very strong. Hard to route his units, I imagine he will be very sturdy front line. We also have Guards of Troy, also another heavy unit that's Spear and Shield. I think these are slightly simpler versions of these, maybe a slightly lower tier. We don't have the Javelin on these units, but aside from that, they're quite similar. They have bonus to Large, Sword, and Axe, similar to most Spear units in the game. Yeah, they both have that. And that's pretty much it. We can't recruit Archers because, I, as I said, we're the antithesis of our brother Paris, who is the Archer. 
And let's read a little bit about our hero. Hector of the Shining Helm, champion of Troy and heir to King Priam, had already made a name for himself at the onset of the Trojan War, as one of the finest warriors of his time. The prince was renowned for his courage and unwavering devotion, leading the war effort against the Achaeans despite his objections to the conflict. Likewise, when Paris returned from Sparta with Menelaus' wife Helen, Hector voiced his disapproval but stood firm by his younger brother. The noble warrior, raised from birth to lead his father's armies, was feared by his enemies and could turn the tide of battle through sheer bravado and military cunning. Wearing a ornate bronze armor and carrying a shield, he wielded his mighty spear with skill and ferocity in equal part. And he is the son of Priam and Hecuba, who is the queen of uh, Troy. But the, all the sons did not come from Hecuba. He had concubines as well. I think there's only five sons that belongs to the queen. And we get 10% to morale for all units in our own territory. As well as five gold income per turn. This is actually quite valuable. This is not restricted by the finite resource. So there's no depletion of mines. We just constantly get gold. Uh, that is quite interesting. Probably to afford our unique units. Uh, we can't see the upkeep cost here, but I'm guessing whether recruitment takes gold or upkeep takes gold, or maybe both. Anyway, on to defending the sacred city of Troy. Paris of Troy must pay! Oh, man killing Hector. The sons of Achaea will cross the sea with a thousand ships, not just to take back Helen, but to kill every last Trojan and burn Troy to ash. Brother, your foolish passion has doomed us. You rule over the innermost region of Troad from the city of Zelea. Reckless Prince Paris has taken beautiful Helen to his holdings on the Trojan coast. Reprisals have already begun. An Aeolian incursion has ravaged the south. The raid was launched from Lesbos, but they do not yet fully control the island. To the north, Aeneas holds the Hellespont for Troy. Fear not, noble cousins. I stand with you. On the nearby western islands, your god-touched brother, Troilos, protects the coastal waters in the name of your father, King Priam. You must bring together Troy's disparate forces to counter Achaea's inevitable vengeance. Alrighty. So how do we play? Uh, Priam's heir, old Priam, king of Troy, seeks to determine which of his sons is worthy to inherit the throne in his place. Hector and Paris must therefore prove themselves before their father. Whoever gains the most favor will instantly become master of the city. The Aswan League. Troy cannot face her enemies alone. It is therefore up to Hector to gather a host of allies in defense of his father's kingdom. The more land controlled by his allies, the more formidable Hector's cause will become. Alright, so first we have to defeat an army belonging to Makaria, and uh, these are the guys who are threatening our land. We get some food and bronze. Their army's right over here. I'll have to refuse. And uh, we'll take care of them soon. Uh, let's first take a look at our holdings. So we hold uh, Zalia over here, and we're missing uh, the piece that our first full holds, which produces food. Double food production. Uh, around us... Ooh... Beeb. Okay. I can't see this ending well. Interesting. Um, well, we need to explore our neighbors a bit later, but first let's take a look at our special, unique uh, faction mechanics. Priam's heir. So this is how it works. We have this bar. The left side is us. The right side is Paris, and we want to boost it so that our father favors us. So honored by Troy, devoted to Troy, beloved of Troy, heir of Troy. These are different tiers, and there's 400 points in total. And how to gain points? 
Well, here is a revolving list of things our father want us to do. We can provide 50 units of gold gifted to Troy. And plus 2 for victory against a common enemy, both you and your brother. Plus 10 for destroying a common enemy of both you and your brother. Minus 30 if you declare war on your brother. Well, if we kill him, then we're heir, but that's not our playstyle. Uh, plus 1 for 5 flavor favors with Apollo. And fulfill your destiny, plus 10 for competing an epic mission. We have a bunch of those. Ensure population happiness. Oh, that's going to be tough on uh, legendary difficulty. Plus 10 for each province with 20 or more happiness. Cries. And plus 10 for each province producing 40 or more units of food. That we can do. Uh, defeat the Kians. So we got to defeat their heroes in battle. We'll defeat their faction leaders in battle. If we lose, we lose points. And we may not declare war on Priam's faction, Troy. Okay. So that's kind of this competition between our brother and us. And then once we get that, we can colonize Troy, uh, which ah, is just the city Troy. itself. And the we world got our has never known advisor city so very glorious, excited about Troy. And so full of riches. Ilios is truly a prize worth dying for. Well, we the garrison forces replenish loss at an incredible rate. When fighting a battle against the garrison of Troy, auto-resolve is not available. Foreign agent action will never succeed against Troy. So auto-resolve being cancelled means you can't just stack like 5 stacks and try to just delegate value to the city. You have to actually fight the siege of Troy as part of the game. Uh, interesting design. Wish they could probably bring that to more uh, Total War games in the future. So I think the first thing we want to do is actually check out Diplomacy. Just to check out you know, what we have. So we have a bunch of military access and non-aggression partners, but we only have one defensive ally. We want more allies to give us more bonuses. So that's what we're interested in the most. So Aeneas to the north, we'll definitely ally with him, and we'll also ally with our brother. And we'll see, this is um, Sarpedon. We can try to make this work. We will break bread, and then... Uh, the question is, can we actually get more by starting lower. Everyone respects us, including Achilles and Odysseus. Okay. I mean, I don't see why we can't deal with them, let them break the deal when they come attack us and such. But we will break, I guess break. we'll just get the defensive, because we already have the other two tiers with him, so we can't really extract more from him. And uh, that's a bigger jump that I'm comfortable with. Early on, I think we still want wood focus. I'm curious if we just add 12, do we just drop 24? Close enough, so it's not a big jump yet. 3.8, what about? Yeah, that's good, it's, only, it's very good. Wow, he's really good at giving out bronze. Yeah, that's not bad. That's also not bad. Because we're jumping by 10, we're losing by 1. That's actually the ratio you want to see. Yeah, even then, this is still good. I know we said we wanted wood, but if he's willing to give us such good deals on the copper or bronze, my bad. We'll take it. Wow. Getting slightly worse, but still very good. I don't see any big jumps at all. Oh, there we go. That's our. Well, that, but we went up by 20. That's all their bronze. Oh, I feel bad. No, I don't. Um. Ah, I want a wood, but um. Hmm. What can we do with this last point? Maybe just food. That's a lot of bronze coming our way. I swear. We can do military alliances. This way we can fight more wars with him. And plus, since he's so generous. He has more. Does he have exactly 220? He has exactly... So basically, it doesn't refresh his production until afterwards. So a lot of Total War game does this. Like, if you repeat the deal, they don't refresh their production until much later. Uh, anyhow, 
Can we get an equally good deal here? Yes, we can. We're supposed to help him. Yeah, that's a pretty good deal. We're supposed to help him gain more territory, but I don't think we're helping that cause by taking everything he owns. But we need those wood. Without. All right, dear brother. Whatever obstacles may stand, we can overcome them together. I don't want to trade territory with you at this point. We need some territory. All right, so let's see. Are you generous with your gold? Okay, up to a point. I see. I want wood. So 100 should drop it by about 10 points. But here we only dropped by 8, so it's actually quite efficient. Okay, I dropped it by 1.6. Play can go to 50 with no problem. 58, 59, 60. Drop one, get some food. Yes, brother, we'll protect you in all your wars. Uh, 200, 300. No, it's not sparing us any more gold. 70. Oh, actually, typo. Wait, why? Oh, he only has 40. Okay, we'll take all 40 then. A fine. All right, we're definitely enriching ourselves at this point. Okay, Sarpedon wants to be allies. Troy wants to be military alliance. Sarpedon wants to be military alliance. Hmm. Let's I do defensive with him. A great future. We'll add on military access, and that'd be good enough. 50. Oh, no, no, not 450. 50. Oh, he's not willing to part with his gold. Maybe some stone. We don't produce anything. So that's definitely a problem. Alright, I think we're good. We'll hold off on that. I don't think we want to deal with... Yeah, let's just focus on our key core members. Hmm, would Troy get aggressive? We have much to discuss. They're pretty stingy with their gold. I think maybe this is the place we get a lot of bronze. Uh, copper. Keep no bronze. Bronze is correct. No, yes, yeah, bronze. Ugh, gotta get my mind straight here. He has no wood. The so bronze is the way to go here. Wait, can't. Oh, 100 is all he has. 95, 90, 88. Okay. With a Uh, they really do respect us. I'm tempted to just get deals with them, but we're fine. Our awesome one league has expanded. Let's take a look at the league. So right now we have these four in our league and our total size is seven based on how many territories they hold. And this is the tiers on the bottom. So us by ourselves, less than four. Uh, at 4 or more, plus 10 morale when defending, below 10 basically. Oh, uh, no, we are currently friends of Elios, so if we get to 10 or above, we get this, camp plus 8 campaign movement range. They will all expand pretty quickly, I think we'll be fine. At 20, at 40, at 60, decrease recruitment cost of sword units, 20 campaign movement range. 30 morale when defending, 
That's huge. Minus 20% upkeep costs. Okay. Feels like we have the high morale units, uh, given all the encourage that we have. Like this guy has, uh, well, this is the one guy who doesn't have the encourage. Swordsman, medium. Okay. What are these guys good for? They don't have good charge. Anti large. There's not many large units in the game. Okay, these guys have good charge. Club units. Okay. Bow units. Before we fight, let's look at what our special buildings could be. We only have one. Trojan Towers. Oh, that's because we're in a county. Trojan Towers, which we currently have built. Minus 10% enemy agent action, plus 4 defensive skill of all units fighting in this region, plus 1 siege holdout time, adds an extra garrison. Um, adds more garrison, unlocks the uh, Guards of Troy. Basically more of the stats. Unlocks Champion of Troy. Hector's Guards. Increased melee defense for all guards of Troy and heavy. Okay, so this is a boost to the units. Plus 5 rank, minus upkeep cost. Heroes Hall. Enemies are more likely to attack this region. Plus 500 experience to all garrison units per turn. Plus 10 morale. Hector's Chosen. So once again, all our faction unique units are available from the special buildings. Priam's Residence. So we can build this for food and happiness. Interesting. That sounds pretty good, actually, but it's three turns. Over here, I think we just want to plant some food down. Yeah. We definitely have high influence here. And back in the city, we currently don't have any units to recruit except for these swordsmen from this building. Debating whether we want to keep them or not. Feels like range is not our thing. Uh, archers maybe, but like not much here. I guess we can't get rid of this. This is not like this is our only building. So we're gonna play fly back to happiness. Uh, we just don't have enough wood to trade for that. But next turn we'll solve that. We kind of checked out our unique buildings and our Troy's units. Let's go fight this battle. Don't hold back. Seven versus seven, but we're advantaged. What's the reason here? Like maybe just this unit, this one heavy unit. We didn't check out our abilities. I kind of want to delegate this. Save us a little bit of time, but maybe play around with this unit. Let's try it. All right, let's start deployment. Dry is fine to me. All right, we can definitely be on top here. 150 range, definitely outrange javelins. This is our one good charge unit. These guys are shields, maybe just frontline light spear. Our ability two uses. No rage needed. Gives our ally extra attack, defense, weapon damage. So attack is actually hit rate. And also all allies within 100 meter range. Okay, so we're just gonna dominate the front line battle, it seems. That seems like how Hector plays. And then we just boost them. Maybe we don't need all this flanking business. Maybe we just line up and charge. Yeah, maybe that's our playstyle, actually. But I feel like we can come out of the forest still. Like, there's no reason why we need to get shot before then. There's this ledge. I feel like if we go here and just charge out at this turn. It'd be very good. I would right, try to get them mobilized a little quicker.
Now obviously they have more range than us. Slightly. We're 150. Oh, we can't see them now. Uh, javelin. Oh my god. Three units hitting us. Run. Run. My bad. Sorry guys. Didn't see the other two. They have a lot of range. Hmm. We can't sneak down. We're firing. Okay, let's just fire from here. If that's the only unit we can see. I think the height is giving us extra range. Or we're just... We're hitting the unit that we can't see. Is that how it works? Well, these guys have shield, right? Charge out. Warriors have spotted hidden mm, foes. Not yet. There are probably some units in there. My friends, boosts. Your hero is under attack. Move out! Gods go with us! To glory, state your order. Forward, claim for war. Honor and duty. I don't know if this one unit can actually chase those three. Mm, we'll let the general flank us. It's fine. That guy might die actually. If they turn around, we die instantly. Alright, they're routing. Run back. Before they can turn around and shoot us. Use the forest as cover. Boosting them. Shoot at these. I'll kill him. And then I'll take out the range later. Yeah, we'll take out the range later. We don't need to use this on the range. Victory is close enough to taste. Might need someone to follow him, but too late for that now. These guys are fast. 46 speed, not bad. Anyone rally back? This group. I mean, the shield's not. Their backs to us. Should kill them pretty easily. He bounced back too. What a shame. We need to go back. We might. Hmm. The foe has sighted your hidden units. They're so fast. We're just not going to give them a chance to turn. Where's the general? Should be somewhere here, shouldn't he? 
There we go. I mean, these guys are basically Hector clones. Giant shield, spear. He's like, stab me, stab me. I'm very happy to stab him. Oh my god, it's so hard to chase these guys down. I don't know if we can beat him, but I, I like our chances. He full healed from that ability. Alright, let's pull him out. Can't catch them. Neat cavalry. Your warriors are losing heart. Why did they just route fear? No, it's not this group. Oh my god. I mean, what do we do about this? They just keep running. Like, we legit don't have a unit fast enough to actually catch them. I'm gonna pull away too. We need to kill this general. Fastest way would to just route these two units and then the general will route, but they don't want to be caught. Let's see if we can fight him. What? They stop running? That's how slow we are? One of your units has no more ammunition. Let's see if we can stop them from running. Cut them off somewhere. Ah, they're running towards each other. Smart. Alright, you fight him. Tell me we win this. Yeah, we're winning this. Good. The units are busy chasing people around. There we go, Hector. Alright, now they are done, finally. I wouldn't exactly call this decisive, but we did beat them. Food, okay. We'll take the replenishment here. Vala is rewarded. Now we're supposed to take this garrison, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. It just it's a lot of units. And we're pretty injured, so Prince Hector. Go inside. Get more replenishment inside. Javelin? I think that's the way to go. At once. We need to build, you know, our special buildings, we can start recruiting, but we need to upgrade this, need to population, that takes at least seven-ish turns. we we'll just build our economy before then. Yeah, that's pretty much all we can do this turn. Decree, right. Um, let's get some more wood. Or actually, gold? Or stone? Probably stone. We just don't need gold for much. All right, let's continue. Alrighty, so your brother, so he colonized the land, so he got plus four. It's fine. We'll take this very soon. Um, 
pick up a few more My skirmishers. We don't have enough wood? Yes, we do. Boost that happiness. And see if we can get any new allies. Mm, he's ready, our ally. I mean, if they're not willing, they're not willing. Achilles really friendly with us. I don't know why. Alright, not much we can do. Let's continue. Alrighty, so our brother actually took it before we had a chance to fight it. Uh, he's getting all the points. But our pack has grown stronger because they gained more territory. If we look at the pack bonus, we're now at exactly 10. 8% campaign movement range. Cool. I guess we have to turn our focus to our eastern front. I guess we will have to go to war with them first. I guess I should listen to Troy. Okay, they're tribal. They're not really listening to Troy, it seems. They don't have any... Oh, they have a military ally, so we're going to war with both, it seems. Unreliable Paris. You want war? We'll oblige. Okay. So, Paris didn't join. I mean, it's fine. Um, I think it, lo it means we lost him as an ally. Yeah, that's a bit of a shame. I'm sure we will both profit from this exchange. Yeah, we can renegotiate non-aggression non pack with him. Okay, that's when things get unreasonable here. He does it's only two bronze. Let's take this deal. I'd be hmm. our untrustworthy brother. All right, we lost the alliance. Uh, Ally refused to join us in a war, and our alliance is broken, and we <laughs> downgraded. So there goes our eight percent campaign movement range. Defender of uh, but we're at war with them. I will take and their ally. I'll take the wood first, but this is. Easier in range. They have a priestess, no problem. Make them pay. We'll just delegate this. Show your courage. Ooh, good move. Oh, oh, oh. oh wow. Good move. Alright, picked up some food and gold. We'll occupy, occupy the city. I don't have any great way to take care of priestesses. They actually built this. Useless. Priam's heir. Our local... Okay, we'll take them then. I just want to expand the force. We're not in our own provinces, so we can't recruit many units. We'll get our population surplus at one next turn. Save up enough wood. Yes, we actually saved up plenty of wood. We'll be okay. Let's continue here. Okay, construct any building. And <laughs> seems like Paris is doing really well. Yeah, it's still only 10 points. No big deal. They summon Don't the really army not. here. Hmm. We technically don't need that. I'm scared to build stuff. I feel like if we march out incorrectly, they'll just come take it, which is very likely. Main settlement. I fight for my city.
Hmm. Maybe a few more recruits. Even if, if they're just militia. Oh, three is good. Because the other ones just be two turns. We did level up. We also didn't look at our equipment. We have Hector's sword, plus 8 melee attack, plus 70 melee damage against sword units. Hector's armor, plus 4 armor. We can get Vanquish, which gives extra charge. We can give Divine Focus, which gives extra damage on ourselves, plus attack interval. Interesting. Cost based. Actually, we'll wait for this because we have so many javelin units. And get this. Yeah. That might be the way to go. Alright, we're recruiting. Let's continue. Okay, so they have brought reinforcements. It's not just the eight person army, but they brought reinforcement. But we have our garrison, even though it's not fully healed. I feel like if we play this one well, it's not going to be that hard. A lot of swords, a couple warriors, light skirmishers, a lot of swords, two archers. Speed 44. Which one of our units can actually chase them down? Okay, so light skirmishers are fast, but we don't need them. Okay, so militias we can use to chase down range. They have three range, 46. We'll just use three militias. All right, let's fight this. All right, so not much of a settlement here. But this also means we don't have much to defend. There's no flags or anything to worry about. And they only have one range in this army. We should try to kill this quickly and then take care of the second one because we're all together here, which is our advantage. I'm going to sort the units a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, two, all right, we're going to bring our range units to this side. Receiving reinforcements. Don't run away. They picked a foggy day too. Anywhere to hide. Hmm, feels like they're gonna hold the defensive position and we have to charge into them even though they are the attackers here. see us. It's kind of pointless. Oh? Wait, wait, wait. When did this happen? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop moving.
trying to send just a few guys out towards their range group or we can just stand Your here and fire is under attack I uh, want to get closer. Your warriors are losing heart. Yeah, not doing great on this section here. We need them to run into us. We need to win here. Can I get you to run over here and just kill some archers? Chase them away at least? Your warriors have been routed. Mm, yeah, it's not going well. We've been recruiting just mainly range. That could definitely be an issue. away he's just chasing a random archer which is great by Ares, your warriors are rallying nice we took him down Hector is strong like himself it's quite strong I don't know if it's because he has a weapon at the start but Feels very strong. Alright, he can chase him. He can chase him. I need to go fight him. And the other unit can probably run here. One of your units has no more ammunition. Who has no more ammunition? You stay here. Chase, chase, chase. Don't let them bounce back. Just gonna shoot him to death. Unless Paris wanna get in there. Alright, the general's gone. This should be over. Where's our big oh he bounced back. Oh, we're still chasing the archers. Great. Just to be safe, let's give a nice volley into him. I just feel like his morale is ticking back up. Oh, he rallied. Easily brought down again. Archer still being chased. Javelin recovered. Oh, he activated his ability. Are you kidding me? All 
are really running out of ammo. Well, he, he, he's healing right now, which is the difficult part. You gotta keep damaging him. Well, one guy left. Let's see if Hector can kill him. Oh, we can use this too. We can heal, gain damage. Can't use it on self. We can use it on them. Never mind, we'll just kill him. No, don't let him run. Victory is close enough to taste. Chase, chase, chase. I doubt you will be missed. I don't have to listen to this. Oh, nice. Hades has claimed oh, wow. the enemy here. Okay. All right. Not the easiest fight, but we got out of it. All righty. Pulling to heal up quite a bit, so we're going to take this replenishment bonus. Man, our brother has a... We have been playing the game with our father. We want to build a altar to Aphrodite's sure thing. They have tried to use ritual of ruination on the city we're in or settlement we're in. It has failed. We have killed their both their generals. Now we got 18 troops. We're gonna take this. Hit them hard. Oh, can we delegate for a win? Yes, we'll take the close victory. Oh, what a comeback. There we go. Make it ours. Alistair's dead. Plus five percent campaign movement. Nice. We got ourselves a Huh? We got ourselves a horse and auxiliary item, but only increases our speed if we're on a chariot. Basically, the horse is pulling the chariot because there's no Defender stirrup, so cavalry wasn't really a thing unless you were like super skilled with horses. So we lost a lot of units for sure. Let's recruit three do. more. Duty first. Now we have lots of resources. Populations up. Upgrade that, upgrade that. Give us a little bit more wood. Oh, this is the wrong building. Killing our growth. That's not what we want. Righteous and true. Alright, we're gonna try to get our own agents so we can counterbalance that. See, now we let our stinking brother take this from us, even though he's no longer in our ally alliance. How much for this? Oh, okay, never mind. I take it back. Let's continue. And we have lost a uh, military access with the Amazons. Okay. <laughs> we, we are losing very badly to our brother. Critical failure on their ritual. Okay, what happened? Does she get knocked out? Okay, firm but fair. That's quite useful. We're gonna probably see that a lot on legendary difficulty. Yeah, he's just blowing through this. Uh, we're okay. Never bested. Troy's finest warrior. We'll just use sheer number. All right, we're good. Let's continue. Oh, and the other Amazon sister here, they also ended their military access. Okay. They want us to give them bronze. We do have quite a bit of bronze, but we have to here right we get some value here maybe sign non-aggression pack with that value 
or we can just switch it to a non-aggression pack and we can give them some or just decline it's fine and our brother continue to impress our father so they sent an army here which kind of really ruins our chance of taking it let's go get that full stack and we have level three so we want this no we want this extra ammo extra armor piercing damage and that's it we can build this or we can go for growth lose some influence yeah maybe we'll lose some influence we do have quite a bit of influence get some Growth and uh, food would be nice. And then we're just going to wait for our population to hit two, and then we'll upgrade this. True of heart. Let's continue. Another military access gone. And another. And <laughs> Paris continues to beat us to the punch. We got Royal Stones, Reach, Trojan Alliance Tier 2. Front. We, we, are, we are at Tier 2. We finished the 20 units, which refreshes the check. We finished that one too. Recruiters spent multiple turn recruiting, minus 3% cost. Well, too late. We already recruited everything. Defender of innocence. Attack as well. Wow, not even close. Because we have all militias. Um quick siege. Now. Yeah, our unit quality is Hector a little poor. We have hell. to use our Forward advantage man. through ambushes, I believe, if we want to win this. Use the garrison and let them run into us. We kill them afterward. Minus seven influence. I think we can swallow that. All right, four more turns. I'm trying to get more gross rate for that. We can pick a new gold. What will bring the most benefit? There we go. Let's continue. And plus six for Paris. Our ambush failed, which is a little sad. He just ran back. All right, we're getting rebellion soon. Ever steadfast. Yeah, he's just gonna be there. Forty-five percent chance. It's forty-five everywhere. I'll try it again. Rebellion, I can't do much about. We just have to use the garrison to win that fight when that happens. Um, we could recruit a new general. We are pretty wealthy. We could have recruited an agent a long time ago. Forgot about that. Ooh, plus 10% in cap. Okay, uh, I like that. Those who oppose me need Hades. Mm, we mind to recruit a general. Probably not right now. All right, let's end. Let's try this ambush tactic one more time. And they end a non-aggression pack. Okay. And meanwhile, we're getting attacked in our other settlement, uh, which is a shame. They have two chariots. Spear fighters. I don't know if we can win this. How do we kill the chariots with our what we have? Yeah, let's try it though. Wow, it's raining. And they picked this weather to fight? Alright, we can only fight those chariots in heavily forested areas. We're not going to fight over here. If they want to take us, they can take us from here. Archer, javelins. Let's just defend. Thunderstorm going on. We gotta defend for 40 minutes. They're looking for us. I mean, we're visible. Our infantries are visible. Trying to flank us. All 
Alright, here comes the chariots. No, 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 we're gonna turn off this scratch mode. Can we charge them? Your hero is under attack. Shoot, 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 shoot. Ah, oh, they mowed right through us. How are we supposed to stop these chariots? Your warriors yeah, we are getting destroyed by the chariots. You guys are devastating. I mean, we're gonna lose this, most likely. Yep, chariots wrecked that one. That's it. Pretty quick, decisive defeat. Ooh. Oh. Okay. And meanwhile, Paris is doing very well in the eyes of our father. We still can't ambush them. Want to build altar? Aphrodite is the one that can get us two things. We got our first rebel group spawn. Decisive defeat. Settlement lost. Where is this rebel army, though? Are we not supposed to see them? Alright, we'll take this back first. Very simple delegate here. I like this, you know. Falls down, stabs up. Second time we did that. Make it ours. We better not have raised any buildings. Dapper. Well, they're damaged, but they're fine. Six hundred wood repair costs, seven hundred wood repair costs. Very expensive fixes. Prince Hector. Erebus Shroud. They might come attack the settlement now. It might just be putting out fire on both sides. Where is this uh rebellion? Oh, we triggered one here. Okay, they got a rebellion. From these two, not that they got a rebellion. Interesting. Alright, anyhow, let's uh, continue here. Alright, Paris continues to please our father. They try to uh, attack our agent, but they failed. Ready and willing. Bring that let's see if this can win. Engage the foe. No, not even close. Withdraw. Troy's finest warrior. March on. Defend. Got a few more Troy. points to spend here. Melee defense, offense, defense, dodge chance basically. Ends up being plus seven. Maybe defense, because we are a defender. Subtle blade. Fifty-eight percent. We'll take that. Their next journey. All right, knocked her out. Karen's ferry. Just waiting for gross. Uh, we'll get it next turn. We need better Undaunted. troops, but we can't recruit better troops until we move back. And I just want to outmaneuver him. I think it's possible. Let's continue. Ooh, we get a non-question pack if we pay a lot of stuff, which is no. Same thing. Do we look like a charity? Uh, our brother's just doing really well. Always well, with honor. let's send our spy in. He should turn the tide here. Only 50%, but we'll see if it works. 
Success. Nice. Smuggler plus 10% range. Excellent. Did he level up? Yes, he did. Movement. Success chance on all actions. Definitely. Garrison wise. I don't know. Are they weaker now? That's Should be. We can try to action on the general. Of the shimmering helm. I'm gonna try to ambush again. They're all 45%. They failed Draw twice already. Injures. Let's try a third time. Third time's a charm. Let's continue. Assuming uh, we can probably build stuff here. Right. Main settlement upgraded. Let's continue now. And people keep on asking for ridiculous deals. Ambush failed, but we can finally fight them here. We'll just delegate this for the win, because we're really short on time for this previous. It's already running really long. And we'll take replenishment. 7% is pretty nice. Another ridiculous agreement here. Where do these 20 stacks come from? Well, it's all militia, but we'll take the defeat here as well. I like his hat or headdress. All right, meanwhile, Paris is just gaining favor. Oh, we didn't construct it, but we didn't have a slot, so it wasn't like we can't actually construct it. Megaron, okay. Um, not really gonna go for that. We have a rebellion spawn next to us. We got ourselves a pelt. Plus two motivation. So this is good for other heroes because we have no motivation on our leader. Plus 5% capture through punishment. So this is useful right now. So I think we just. We got sacked. They didn't take it. Uh, army. Prince Hector. It's a unique one. A Tichitoroni. That that's the lion, right? Yeah. I think we fought this in uh Assassin's Creed, perhaps. Uh but anyhow, we seem to have gained a level as well. Get more defense. Mm, maybe not. Those two point two points are probably not worth it. Plus 4% for all unit defense. Yeah, these two rank up will be pretty nice. Let's go there. So these are rebels. Uh, they're ambushed here, the main stack, but it's all militia. I fight for my city. And the city's kind of exposed. That's our chance, actually. But maybe we can poison the well. We can assassinate. We have that extra 10% of knockout. It failed, but not critical failure. We just failed. We're still on the map. We can try again. Cost 7 gold on oh, next turn. Okay, there's a cooldown. Go beat them. Attack as one! Ooh. Okay. Disarmed him and then stabbed him in the heart. Or, no, right side's not hard, but still. Keep them as slaves. Replenishment. Heading out. Bold. We'll definitely take that. I know there's a the garrison here. I. Hmm. I could forego this and go for that, but then he can attack both of these, which is a little annoying. I could ambush his ambush. I might run into it by accident. Stay sharp. Like so. <laughs> what did I say? Um We will mm, Alright, I guess we'll fight this as our last thing, running into an ambush. They 
Yeah, I knew they were close. I wanted to ambush on top of or outside their edge, but didn't know exactly where he ambushed. Okay, same cinematograph. So we're walking, everything looks good, and then when do we get attacked? Where are the enemy? Nothing? Ah, here they come. Try forever. Your warriors have spotted hidden foes. Just militias. Fight back. Fight back. Fight back. Range units. Scatter. Keep running. Sacrifice yourself. Melee attack. Your warriors no, no, no. are losing Keep heart. running, keep running, keep running. Your warriors have been routed. Mm, yeah, it's not a good sign. See if we can take them down before they get to us. Your hero Unlikely. is under attack. Right, we're winning one corner of the fight, but only one corner of the fight. We might just have to run back to our original province to recruit new things. Because this battle oh, looks yes, like it's not going to end well. Ready. Have a general there sniping at us. How oh, great! True warriors. Duty calls. We kill a little faster. Your warriors are ready. Right, not bad. Troy. Man, they're all running away. <laughs> they're all engaged. Just go melee, fight them. Well, there goes our javelin troop. Honor and shooting, Hector. Take them. Ah, oh, we boosted him. He's still routed. Everyone's routing. Yep, we cannot stem this tide. That ambush was a terrible mistake. Yeah, there's just too many of them. Hmm. Is there a retreat point for the ambush that we can run to? I don't think so. I mean, if we can run and hide on the map for 35 minutes, we can definitely call it a draw. But I don't think that will happen. I'm going to run on three times speed. It's just basically Hector 
He lost morale. Okay, there we go. Close defeat. Alright, definitely not a nice way to end our preview, but uh, I think it's about time. We kind of already showcased what the faction's about. We're clearly Bye. losing that battle That's to our brother for air. And uh, in terms of our Aswan League, it's also not going very well. Reckless. Okay, increased damage though. That's one nice way to gain some trait. But shuns battle. Oh, suffered even without fighting in melee. We we fought in melee. It can be lost by achieving victory in battle. Okay. That's fine. How do we not fight in melee? We clearly were fighting in melee that whole battle. We got we lost our pelt. Oh, very sad. Um, but anyhow, that's going to be our preview. We started on this corner. I feel like maybe we should have been more uh, patient, recruited good units back here in our main province. And we definitely should have been more rushed early on to take this before Paris did. And then that way we can have a commandment that's quite key in a whole province. And then we move on to take down enemies here. Uh, so kind of that out of order, declare war on them way ahead of time, thought we can take them. But then end up with just these militia war bands that were not that great. Um, so, hope you guys enjoyed this preview. We still have Paris and Aeneas coming up before we launch the game. And there will be a vote today on the channel for what faction Let's Plays we'll play. So, please go vote and we'll play that in our regular Let's Play time starting on Thursday when the game officially launches. Which is another reminder for you guys to go pick up the game for free when it launches on August 13th on the Epic Game Store. So, hope you guys enjoyed this one and see you all next time. Bye!